So I hop to the booth, rather talk to the youth, cause they got the vision, you ain't seeing the view. I'm trying to battle my demons while these haters are scheming, trying to pull me to the dark, but my nigga with beaming, yo, my nigga with winning. I just found my meaning, all these years of dreaming, I just stick to this road, I just stick to my vote, and she get hard, we cope, and every day is a blessing, every day we toast, let's make a toast. Let's make a toast, <laughs> yes, yeah. a toast part by Valentine's, Woo. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, this is your host of Good Vibes. You call me Quam Bokes, and I want to welcome you to this episode. Yes, this is powered by Valentine's. We're going to have a good time right here. Talking to this awesome rapper called Monsky. <laughs> Next time, I'll, hey. I'll have an audience for clapping. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah. I'm blessed. Uh-huh. I'm happy. You're happy. Yeah. 20, 2021 was, was, I mean, 2020 Okay, let's just say we were all look at, looking forward to 2021. Yep. I mean, we were just like, yo, 2020, we just... <laughs> yeah, we're ready for 2021. How was 2020 for you? Um, 2020 was... I'd say it was a good break for me because mm-hmm. I had a lot of things to think about and re-strategize. Mm-hmm. So, it was too sour. Nearly have a good time, you could think. Yeah? Yeah. Una joa, una joa. <laughs> My morning will be strategy yangu ya 2020 likuwa nilikuwa na tagline ya 2020. Unajua mimi tagline ndio nijikumbushe what it is I'm fighting for for the year. Mm-hmm. So nikasema 2020 vision is clear. Let me tell you guys. <laughs> there's nothing more true than that shit. You know when they say manifestation? Yeah. I think for everybody that I've spoken to artists, creatives, they say that 2020 made your vision clear on some of the bullshit that you were dealing with. Before 2020, how was how was your career going? Um, I'd say it was good. Yeah. I was putting in work. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was working on my first album. Mm-hmm. I dropped it twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, sour. I was not sick on a feel. Kama kuna anything in any in any kazia. Yeah, so like I was you just wanna... going all out. Yeah, yeah. It Do. was sour. Uh-huh. I love for twenty twenty. Fika fika. What what was your plan for for last year? Uh, it was to release the album. Mm-hmm. And start like a tour. Tour. Nini, nini, tour nini. Ya, yeah, we uh-huh. promote. Nini, nini, yeah. yeah. And Kwendelea too could do my collabs. Uh-huh. Yep. Alafu, March, Kukafika, <laughs> Vitu Zimestopika. Yep. What was the plan? What was your plan for Mziki 2020? 2020, Nilgona plan could do a lot of collabs, mm-hmm. which I did on my album, mm-hmm. and Nili dropped last year. Mm-hmm. Um, Eliko to ni do album, ni in the shows, mm-hmm. ni shoot videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Machi Kafika, everything. <laughs> 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 well, up. pull up, select. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, so after Rona, actually, Nili decided to take more time on the album. Mm-hmm. So that, Nika, Nika, work on, on, Nika work on it, Mbaka, end of 2020, Nili yeah. dropped December 18th. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I actually took time. Um, I lost my grandpa. That was another thing. I'm Nili. so sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, it's okay. I repeat. And um, yeah. Nothing much. So Good getting chilito. getting into 2020 <laughs> yeah. with the plan, everything is you know b- been pushed to zero. You know now now all you have is because uh, wait artists make money from gigs, right? Yep. That's the revenue. So when that's taken off the table, now you are like, what do we do? Unanza kutafta. Kuna tuwalifanya ma live sessions. Yeah. But uh, I think my management was slow at that time. Yeah. Because I'm not working with them anymore. But mm-hmm. it was slow. Have they just found out? Yeah. Now you know. <laughs> now you know you could have done better. Yeah. 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 It's been seven years of of this and that, being yeah. off and yeah. on music. Yeah. But finally, uh, I just decided to like. You know, you know Monsky, we got to talk about this, man. We got to talk about <laughs> this. Let's pour a drink, man. We have a lot of great talent. Yeah. But nikama hakuna structures and management. Yeah. Your part. Because mm. tukiangalia mi management yangu, mm. ilikuwa tu hapo kuniambia, oh, you need to release a song after every two months. Mm-hmm. You need to do this. You need to do that. But siku wanata after shows. Mm-hmm. I had to just sit and wait for people to call me. Yeah. Akuwa to my um, emails to other people looking for like, you know, mm. for partnerships or things like that. Yeah. Ata nikitaka kufanya anything na anyone. It mm. was up to me to call them mm. and like organize that thing. Yeah. So it was just a lot of... So how is that management? <laughs> I don't know. He used to say he's my manager and it's like, 
fifty fifty. Yeah, I do all the work, but it's fifty fifty. Yeah, and it's and crazy. you know, remember also you you need time to be in the studio. You need time to because not just management. You also need to think about your wardrobe. You yeah. need to think about you know how you're gonna get to the gig. How yeah. your you know how your brand is being positioned out there. Why are they doing these things? Um. He himself is a videographer, photographer. Mm, yeah. And I also had a stylist. Mm. We, I used to, I work with my stylist, you know. Mm. She's good, nini nini, but ilikuwa too, just the three of us, my stylist, mm. him and me. Yeah. So I go to the shows, I do the work. Looking fresh. They no? dress, yeah. My stylist, big shout out. So, <laughs> exquisite. Mwam tam tajako. Yeah, exquisite. Big uh-huh, shout out to big you. Big up to you. So, alikuwa na come through na looks nini nini, but it was a lot of, let me say, weird energy mm. energy that was equals in a click mm. kuna pata huyu anataka kufanya hivi huyu anataka kufanya hivi mm. and as much as mindo artist niki try kusema kitu will go to like oh uh, joy but you're the artist so it's, it's crazy but you know now i know better i can i can imagine <laughs> all this pressure you have songs out that are doing well but like the the behind the scenes is just it's crazy it's crazy and you know i can imagine this must be very heavy on an artist yeah considering that i just realized mm-hmm. like after seven years mm-hmm. nearly realize um, when corona hit us and realize i realized you know what these things should be done like this we never had a contract mm-hmm. it was always like ah, i'm working on the contract i'm working on the contract so ilikuwa tu a lot of energy cuz unapata mtu anafungua di page fan page na jina yako anaenda kubishana na mtu kama calligraph maka calligraph anani block Somebody told me that alikuwa niweke kwa Calicatel but he did not because of that incident. Wow. So and it's it's not even funny cuz mtu anatumia jina yako ku bishana na other artists. Yeah. It's not good. Damn. It's not good. You know and 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 I'm I'm sorry you had to go through stuff like that because and yeah, you know like for me with my brand well i never for the longest time used to think brand but you know this yeah. is 2021 yeah. I'm a brand. <laughs> uh what i'm i'm very skeptical about people i have massive trust issues why because i always think about something like if someone takes my you know goes and asks for something in my name yeah. you know mean you so no not just box eh nipatie hizi tv tatu amesema when i think about when i think about all these things that you know are happening you know behind the scenes what ukikuwa kwa stage ama uko hapa you know what unasema ah mzee Monski ameomoka mm-hmm. mangoma zake zime zinapepea and you really have fire tunes. Yeah. If you haven't checked out Monski this is a nice place to pause and check out her her tunes on uh, Monski on Monski everywhere YouTube yes. mm. SoundCloud uh whatever Spotify yeah, yeah. it's interesting Monski you know how you know it was Monski kama ni mle sange decided ku kutumia jina yake kwa sababu hiyo ndio nickname yake Well, yeah, ni nickname. Yeah. Ni jina yangu. Yeah. Oh, Moski ni jina yako? Nah. Actually, it's it's a nickname I got from high school. I'm just saying, I'm using See? it as my name. So, yeye kwa kwake ni nickname. Uh, sasa yeye <laughs> at that point pale hako amefikiria fikiria angekuwa anaitwa Monski. You really get so. Yeah, sasa yeye ungekuwa anaitwa jina yako ya nini? Ya kikamba ni gani? Mhm. 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 Nduta. I have actually never had Wakaleza. Anyone. What can I say is general term kusema wakamba. Oh for real? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, not I'm name. guessing everything I can get here. Jina kwa kamba ni gani kabla tuendelee? Mukeve. Mukeve. Unajua yeah. kikamba? Yeah. Salimia watu wa kikamba wa Cumberland. Eh hey, watu wangu Mwatindata. Mwatindata. <laughs> We've got Monski. Kana kwa kanesa. Enjoy. No, but for real you don't know any kikamba? I if you speak to me I'll speak back. But ni tricky. I after literally after don't know any kikamba. Kairetu is kao. Na. Kailetu. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I love boneless man. <laughs> Shout out to you boneless again. We need more music. Make it happen. But Monski, yeah. let's talk about your music now. To shout get mambo ya management. Now, by the way, I I fully support you whatever you want to do for yourself to get yourself where you need to be at. Man, the time is now. Ka 2020 ili kufungua macho uko na vitu. Yeah. Yeah, mtu apatu wangu apatu wangu vision ndio ajifanye haoni. Kweli. Yeah. Kweli. All right, let's let's talk about the music. Yeah. Why rap? I always ask rappers, especially ladies, kwa sababu unajua sasa leo ulikuwa shule ulikuwa na rap. Nilikuwa na imba, nilikuwa na rap. Nilikuwa na imba mostly, but since tu ni kwem young, nilikuwa too interested in the whole entertainment thing. Nikigrow up nilikuwa nataka kuwa dancer. Then 
Coca Cola pop that happened. Uh-huh. Nikaona sana ipe I was like, "Whoa, I love fucking get radio." I was like, yeah. "God, uh-huh. I want to do radio uh-huh. and sing." Uh-huh. But after high school nilikuwa nataka kuwa DJ sana, which uh-huh. I still want to do. Uh-huh. I'm gonna put more effort on that side. Uh-huh. Uh so vile nilitaka kuingia kwa hii biz kabisa kabisa I talk to my management mm-hmm. ndo nikamwambia this is what I want mm-hmm. nini nini cuz nilikuwa naona pia akona the same interest mm-hmm. ndo akaniambia nilimwambia mimi nataka kuimba akaniambia mm-hmm. I think you should do rap cuz mm-hmm. see what wengi si wasichana wengi sana wanafanya rap mm-hmm. and I feel like you're talented so mm-hmm. I was like oh we can try that and we did it now we're going to pause and you're going to sing <laughs> you have to sing for us once like just something oh my goodness as in cuz unas can ask management to look for your rap mazi unaweza kuwa unaweza kuwa the next well i eh? same monskitande <laughs> <laughs> kidogo tu kidogo tu mm <laughs> nimekuweka kwa spot chat imbe tumbe sana ipe as much as i'm not a good singer but you know Allah. i think in the shower to, don't listen to the voice <laughs> listen to the lyrics <laughs> aya <clears throat> Nimempata mpenzi mm. Nimempata mfalme wa mapenzi hakuna Well okay it's, it's why it is doing, what it it's is why she's doing rap, guys. <laughs> it's why she's doing <laughs> But I yeah, love man. it I love it I can't believe you actually knew how to sing it right now you know we are we are nini we are we are tunaje enjoy we are staying true Yeah but um I'm sure I'm, I believe you can sing I, I can sing I can sing I'm just shy, shy, shy. but I can sing <laughs> Um so rapping you you got into rapping your manager told you okay cool let's let's get into it. you tried Yeah and trying is just sitting down and writing bars that you're not even I actually before. no I I was I was I was in high school tulikuwa na talent show mm. nilikuwa na ma boy actually nilikuwa na nilikuwa mix school so nilikuwa na shinda na ma boy sana mm. talent shows to go like yo stand it twimbe me na, na do songs za Nicki mm. tuna infuse to mm. mm. Tunaenda tuna rap vitu kaizo so ndo nianze kuandika nilikuwa naandika songs za Nicki down zote naandika Starships <laughs> I was listening to Starships this morning by the way <laughs> What made so, <laughs> Manze mbaga nilikuwa na Jita Nicki Minaj nilikuwa na Jita Sarah Minaj on Facebook imagine nilikuwa hapo What I was there. You were there I was there You were there Is are you is this a tribute to the Pink album I just woke up and I felt like I want pink hair. <laughs> But I love it. I love it. Thanks. So my, my, my talent show, my talent show. Yeah, my talent show to Ivo. But siku I done in rap. So when I tried it nikona in a fit. Mm-hmm. I actually did like three songs and mm-hmm. everyone started being like, "Oh my god, una do poa nini nini." Yeah. Nika decide to kuendelea cuz nilikuwa na mtu nyuma yangu like somebody pushing me and telling mm-hmm. me cuz yeah alikuwa na the business In the, aspect of yeah. music mm-hmm. with him mm-hmm. to live flow mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. at sometimes and I help kuandika hapa na pale mm-hmm. but you know we worked mm-hmm. um until seven years later okay the first time actually nili quit nili say my quit music yeah. this time i'm saying i'm on a break mm-hmm. so that i can figure out what i want to do mm-hmm. exactly but yeah nilikuwa tunapenda muziki but saizi mostly mm-hmm. i wanna um, i wanna do djing mostly mm-hmm na kutoa tu mangoma once here and there. Mosky when I'm listening to you, I'm listening to you and hearing because also guys, uh, I met Monsky through industry night. Yeah. Yeah. And um when I'm listening to you because when I I listen to I listen to your raps, I can't remember which rap it was. Tell us tell us some of the first raps you tromon. The intro The intro. Oh, it was the intro. It was the intro. It was, the intro. Yeah. It was nice and short. Yeah, it was and a one fire. minute. Yeah. Dude, that was the first time I was introduced to a studio. Yeah. Ilikuwa to like Ali actually yeah, Ali daftar your beat ni top phone ya Kinanas. Kaniambia, "Ebu, listen to this and see what we can do." He actually helped me write the first nini I ever wrote. Rap the intro and we went to the studio I was a bit shy but we managed to produce and put it out yeah yep fire and mm. literally that introduced people to monsky <laughs> yep that was 2014 14 yep. bro that's that's a long time <laughs> yeah damn yeah no, I, i just it's just hit me that's around the time we started industry night yep yeah um and then and then you know listening to so I, i heard that i heard that and you know especially at that time 2014 mm-hmm. there was I, there was the big disappointment of not having ecstatic out for us you yeah. know so uh, that time there was stl she was she was not in kenya mm-hmm. um who else was there who was, who else was a female rapper at that time mm. on the scene there was barely wangeshi wangeshi was yeah, wangeshi was barely releasing songs yeah. there barely. was you know barely 
Um, and then those MDQ. I don't know. Uh, yeah, those MDQ, MDQ as well. So when you came in, like when I saw your song and you were accessible, I was like, we've got to have her on the show. Yep. And what I'm hearing is that you, with your journey the past seven years, you feel like, you, I feel like maybe you, you, you didn't get what you wanted. Yeah. Um, cause for me, Nikki Waknawewe, it's all about the energy. Mm. Me, I'm a straightforward person. I'm just chill, spendy, mm. money no more. But mm. now if I start working with people who love drama mm. and stuff like that, in a hard for me. And I'm not confrontational. Yeah. Yo, I don't like it's hard for me to say that. Yeah. But at this point, I know what to say and mm. I know how to say it. Yeah. So I'll just say it. What usually happens? Because I mean <laughs> Wangeshi. Yeah. Her whole catalog pulled off the internet. Um, and she had to start from scratch, but I guess she was like, I think also just that muscle of starting from scratch is in there. Yeah. Ecstatic, the you same. know, having, uh, you know, these issues, you also sharing with me and, you know, saying, okay, I've also gone through these issues, yeah. w- you know, and then when we look at our male counterparts, they aren't really having, they could be, but like, you know, they're said stepping this thing. Yeah. Steph sat here and shared with me that, you know, when he went through his incident, it was painful. I mean, he spent time talking about this man until his pals were like, bro, you need to, you know, move yeah. forward. Right? You have to run to someone. Yeah. Do you uh, feel like you're going to, you know, you are at that space where you're ready to to to, to sidestep? And, and yeah, and I'm forward? ready. Right now I'm ready. Uh, let's say I was young mm. and I had hope, but Sikwana drew how to go about this thing. Mm. So when I met somebody who knows about how to go about this thing, mm. they were like, yeah, this is my savior. And I yeah. can get too comfortable you can trust too, I'm saying, nee, 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 mm. but you know, they say don't trust anybody. How many girl, <laughs> how many girls do you see in the in the scene right now that when you look, you're like, I can sense that, you know, you are where I was. Uh I don't know, Kabaya, maybe. Yeah. No, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy was here. Mandy She's was good. here. She I doesn't have any management. She doesn't? No, she in fact that's the conversation we're but talking about. When I met her, she was working with some people. Yeah. She had management. Yeah. So probably she and and this thing, especially with the ladies, especially with the ladies. But here's here's a tip that Steph gave me. Mm-hmm. We got a cheers to that. He said, <laughs> "Don't look for management." Yeah. He said, "Focus on making the music." That is where my focus is. Yeah. Let's talk about making the music. Where you, where are you producing? Um, most of the time, I just when I started, I used to buy um, beats online mm-hmm. and go to a studio in Gumba Estate, mm-hmm. Nitwa Minik, and just record and master, mm-hmm. and you know, put yeah. it out. But on my album, I worked with Kenyan producers, mm-hmm. Alex Vice, mm-hmm. Capture, Minik. Mm-hmm. I worked with a lot of people. So first time, Nil Kotuna download beats, Nakakwa Room, mm-hmm. Naskiza Flow. And that took a studio and a drop buzz. Mm. That was it. And 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 in terms of collaborations, how would you pick? Like, I want to work with this artist. I want to work with this artist. And also keep in mind, yeah. like you started, you you smashed your way into the industry yep. with intro. Yeah. You know, so at this point, you know, I'm sure people were like, "Yo, I want to work with you. I want to work with yeah. you." How do you pick who you want to work with? Um, I just kuna vile personally, me na work staki kufanya kitu short term. Ngoma music it will last. Mm. So Nikki obviously in Taskiza Ngoma Zako and decide ni one vibe yako ni gani then I'll pick you. It's just the vibe. Mm. Vibe nyu na nipatia to. Do you, are you are you are you genre specific like lazmani work na msimu wenye ako in hip hop? Nah. Mm. In my album I've worked with singers. Mm. Yeah. The okay. Zinia, mm-hmm. there's Agola, mm-hmm. there's Tesla. Shout out to Agola. Okay, yeah. shout out to Zinia. But oh man, I've missed Agola. <laughs> I know. Is she, is she working? Yeah, she's working. We are about to shoot um, the song we did. Mm-hmm. We're about to shoot the video in Aitoa Happy, Coco Album. Hey. So we're about you to and shoot Agola that. on a tune. That's here in Aitoa. Agol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a goal for sure. That's a goal for sure, man. What what do you think you're gonna do different now that you're talking? You know, I, I'm I'm dropping my management. What do you what? How, how do you think you're gonna traverse the streets differently? Mm, I think I'll just be mostly in, involved in everything because mm. 
ilikuwa point ako na password za email ako na yani unajua ana ana reply emails ana control everything so mm-hmm. mali mefika na tuka took take charge just want to be if something is happening i'm like assured to me discuss me ndo niko like forefront stuck him to as as much as i need help from yeah. people yeah. i'll just be as involved ntako involved zaidi mm. yeah uh, how so you feel like you're in your your you got comfortable yeah i did Uh, and and <laughs> i mean isn't that what an artist is supposed to be doing like no, everybody's playing you know, their part yeah you you'll be comfortable but at least una draw nini na happen mm-hmm. una draw kama ni kitu me make do mm-hmm. una draw iko kwa account gani una draw ime to make a fine una draw to kaizo mm-hmm. i was just chilling i was just like ah, i trust him yeah to to and music was feeding you yeah na um i'd say the only time Yeah it was nimeenda shows nimelipwa but mm. the only time i made big money ni yo time in power mm. i made big money but i didn't see it <laughs> why yeah got to like ah we did this we did that you're asking for like can you just like put it on paper and show me what it is like, yeah. ah, but we did this you know this is like this how much you know monsky <laughs> you know you know the things you're talking about are are really serious things yeah. And this is your career because you know even the person you're mentioning I don't even know them yep. but like you know when the fans will watch this or as they're watching this I'm sure that this is going to make them mad you know considering that you were let's talk about your empower platform yeah let's 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 forget about the negative for a bit yeah. let's talk about you smashing it on empower how did you get that opportunity <laughs> it was just crazy because nearly try to to man my official page mm-hmm. nili record actually a whole verse nikawa tag mm-hmm. but i could work so i nilikuwa natwanga ma freestyles every friday mm-hmm. nika go back to my instagram actually i didn't do it my mm-hmm. management did it mm-hmm. alienda to akawa tag kwa na hel monski cuz mm-hmm. yendo na run your page alienda akawa tag kwa one of the old nini verses i did yeah. and it was like yeah they called me they actually called me in the morning like monski you won and i was like what what did i win my win and power what oh nice Ibo to yeah i remember seeing that and i was very excited <laughs> for you um and and what exactly did you win you know not, not a lot not most people know what empower so empower africa is a platform that was set up by mr easy, mr. easy yeah. and this was his way of empowering african artists to be able to do simple things like record music yeah. professionally and also shoot, shoot professional video. videos yeah. and so a lot of artists across the continent um i think in it kenya the zinia 100 yeah uh, it was empower i think 100 and then now it's empower 30 mm. so i i think zini has also been on empower yeah. you've been on empower who else has been on empower botros mm-hmm. um i don't know some yeah. kenyan rapper mm. but you were one of the ones who were chosen yeah okay now that you you had won what was the next step what were they giving you uh they were funding you to shoot a, they were giving you 300,000 mm-hmm. to shoot a video and produce a, a song tune, yeah. yeah that's it and, and then you, Mm-hmm. and then they'll put the song on their page mm-hmm. but iki make do wana kutumia pesa kwa nini kwa account according yeah depending on, on they put it on their youtube yeah they put it on their youtube so if they get proceeds like, off of that it's like it's the song for five years and then they do they share proceeds with you yeah everything is shared they they tell you how much it was made mm-hmm. kwa email ni nini they even sent me money you yeah. directly the money just <laughs> wow <laughs> As all these things are happening. Yeah. You're out there doing gigs da da da. Yeah, I was, was excited. Your, you were excited. I was excited because this is what I want to do. This is what I love. I love entertaining, napenda kwa kwa stage, mm. blah blah blah. So I mean, it's gonna pay attention sana kwa vitu kaizo because in my head I was like I trust these people. I know they got my back. Yeah. But in real sense it was like they're just using me to do certain things. What have you learned from this experience? Um, I've learned to like be more involved and like say what you feel na jo kwa tu upfront na kila kitu si nyamaze mimi ni msa kuacha vitu zi slide but at this point i'm like uh, if it does not sit well with me i'll mm. just say it and why is that important cuz uh in the end utabaki hapo ukiumia kama mimi at this point unaanza kulia nini nini but mm. if you d- if you said something mm. maybe something different would not happen all this accolades achievements that you've managed to including you know winning best hip hop and all sorts yeah. of things was it your management that did it or was it your talent 
everyone saw it was me nobody even knows my management yeah. to say um cuz me ndo nilikuwa na nenda kwa stage me ndo nilikuwa na shoot hizo videos me ndo nilikuwa na put in work na your time mm. you nilikuwa know, dedicated so it's my dedication too and could it also be you know contracts <laughs> and understanding do you guys actually sit down and and you know say this where are we going what's the plan was there any of that it's more of this is what i want us to do and this is what we are going to do mm. yeah and that kind of relationship is it sustainable even with someone who say for example like Beyonce pick two yeah. you know and she's like girl oh my god girl <laughs> i'm putting you in rock nation forget yeah. jane i'm calling i'm calling jane <laughs> after rihanna it's monsky yeah. right would you sit back with this experience and be honest yeah with this you stomp to you need to chocha you know and then she tells you yo you're going to be working with Pharrell you're going to be yeah. working with Timberland would you sit back and let them do their thing with this knowledge that mm. i have right now i wouldn't yeah sizing as a speak out and as a same pana i work for me maybe to do this mm. and if you don't want to do what i want to do see me saw to like Sinisa. just go do it with someone yeah, else yeah yeah do you do you do you see yourself doing hip hop because at some point you quit yeah i did what brought you back <laughs> It was crazy what, by the way cuz take us take us take us through what made you want to quit you know what made what informed that decision yeah. and then how you got out of it um it like to pressure mob because mm-hmm. it's family mm-hmm. you know i work with family so it like to oh it was just energy ngine mzito and was this is heavy. which year was it uh 20 let's say 2016 apo mm-hmm. don't like when me decide Actually I posted on Facebook and I was like I quit. Kila mse phone calls for oh, Anto Janza I just yeah. got started yeah. nini nini. Yeah. And then I was like ah miss you any point because I feel like it's too much. Mm. Personally nimekwambia napenda tu ku chill na say wana understand mm. you know. Mm. Saka so, mani mtu ako heavy na miss him confrontation all sita kuja nikwambia oh you know what this and this nilikuwa tu na ati slide so nika decide since I cannot communicate fully i'll just stop doing it mm. nika post nini nini and then you called me for industry night it was like oh we have a gig for you nini i was like oh nice now i'm making money so i went back to doing music nilienda tu kwa how your manager wangu nikamwambia you know what i i want to go back to doing music why cuz you made to a show blah 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 and i feel too and yani li make a rush a rush decision mm. so we decided on going back to the music yeah and that was it so after industry night Actually I didn't even know any of this was happening. Cuz no, me I was me I was excited to meet Monsky. <laughs> and uh, me I was excited to meet Monsky. Actually yeah. shout out to um Ruby. Yeah. Because Ruby put me on. Um and then you know as as industry night I want to shout out the team as well because they you know we really spend time trying to know who's out there. Yeah. Um especially who's hot and people don't know about. Yeah. Um and to th- you know do you feel that this industry has space for people to talk about what's going behind the scenes what's going on behind the scenes i don't feel like we have we have that everyone is is in a rush everyone is competing everyone is trying to like get somewhere mm-hmm. you know ukianza kuifanya unaifanya for love when, then we, when you get to to a point inakuwa oh it's about the money it's about hmm. who likes you more ni 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 mm-hmm. so i don't feel like anyone wants to put out sides we took eyes off yeah, we just yeah. want to put out wakosawa blah mm. blah blah yeah this new album with the awesome collaborations the energy is different definitely yeah. what what we what are you trying to communicate in this album um basically to what what you were what i stand for mm-hmm. and what my style is mm-hmm. and where i come from what do you stand for uh <laughs> I stand for love. Mm-hmm. I stand for like, you know, knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many tracks in this album? 14. 14. Yep. Bro, there's a lot of love and knowledge <laughs> in 14 tracks. This is your first album. Yeah, first album. What's the name of the album? Gold. <laughs> Ndipo. Kwa nini inaitwa Gold? Cuz na feel the make a lot of gems kwa your jam. Mhm. Imeongelea vitu mbao, imeongelea politics, imeongelea happy is a choice you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. yeah i feel like kuna gems mingi hapo ndani mm-hmm. there's some there's some a lot of juice vibes that what what's the what's the ultimate vibe of this album 
it's it's like uh unaweza tuseme unaweza sikiza uki drive maybe j drive ama j walk tuseme tu kitu gaya j's as in like when you put on your j's you go for a drive, drive remember yeah. <laughs> consume responsibly <laughs> what do you know we need to see wow yeah i can't wait to hear your tune with agola but now i'm wondering now you have an album out how are you going to navigate Uh, I'm currently shooting videos cuz yo nena do na go like kwa yo jam I'll just shoot videos mm-hmm. I don't care if I that feel some type of who's it take down yeah. it's fine I'll just do it wait but 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 but, but monski man like I mean this is your career bro yeah like you know I, I you know I'm <laughs> what I'm feeling and hearing is this is going to this is going to be confrontation cuz what to knock now ni what to confrontation mm. I'm not mm-hmm. I, I will just say it Just have you, have you thought of legal yeah know. i've been thinking about copywriting bitukaizo or even just get a lawyer to help you figure out how to navigate this yeah. specific since, conversation since we had we had nothing on paper mm-hmm. we had no contract yeah. i just feel like you know no but you see legally someone can prove yeah. their work Yeah. Yeah, th- those are some of the challenges. Yeah. It's why I'm like, are you, you know. But you know, at the end of the day, Monski, Gold is coming out. What when is the first tune coming out? Uh Gold Gold is the first track mm-hmm. and it's already out. It was way out before Yo Vas nimefanya tukianza. 2019. Yeah. 20, 22 2019. Nimewa kon hii album for two years. Yeah. Cuz nimefika point nika stop. Mhm. Kufikiria tena nikarudi back you yeah, know yeah so uh ningoma to like since i was like 25 uh-huh. till two years ago yeah. so yeah yeah and and go, no, no which one is going to come out first this year um i wanted to do a remix of run it up but i already released no i already re- released na tunji your song ni feature tunji steady Ooh. dripping yo ili ili toka sauce yeah. shout out to tunji bro <laughs> yeah. we need music <laughs> Bro, yeah, another industry night yeah. cut that I met and he's he's it's been very quiet after Matzaronga. <laughs> like he gives us tunes but like Loki. Let me ask you because your career started as you started with a with a bang. Yeah. You know, sorry to use this example but like if you speak to someone who's addicted to heroin, mm-hmm. they'll tell you. You'll ask them why? Why do you take this drug? Yeah. Like why are you going crazy, bro? You're selling your own underwear. <laughs> You're naked, bro. and they'll tell you the fast high that's all they're chasing like when you see an addict they're chasing that fast concert it's like you have discovered heaven now you're just you know searching for heaven yeah. don't do drugs kids don't do drugs for real yeah. um when an artist releases a, their first single as a hit it almost feels like they're always chasing that hit you yeah. started off like that have you you know do, do you feel like you are you are you know with, as you started with intro like you've kept that that momentum yeah, yeah. i feel so cuz we got to get to gems to get mm. and you can see the transition you can see the growth let's take them let's take them through the transition so yeah. we have the intro, intro. mhm and up to now we have the whole album no no let's after intro after intro it was veggies mm-hmm. then wordplay mhm Uh, then I'm heavy. Mm-hmm. After I'm heavy, I'm heavy. It was I'm like, heavy. ooh, I'm then heavy. <laughs> heavy. Remind, remind me the hook of I'm heavy. Mm. My goodness, I don't even know my music. Look at this babe. <laughs> uh, does it have a hook though? Okay, give me, give me a bar, cause I'm, I'm trying to remember the part where, like, I was just like, I'm heavy. My goodness, can somebody play that music though? It's on okay. YouTube. We pause. <laughs> How far is that tune, right? It's far here. I can't I can't believe you're on a podcast and you don't know any. I feel cheated. Oh my god, the last time I Will the remote I even listened to that. <laughs> As in Allah, it's been long since I listened or performed to your own this. Tunes. Yeah, no, to that specific song. I thought like artists I, I'm, are just I'm not listening, listening like to their the, babies. You know, my focus is now on the album mm. and the new things. You don't listen to your old shit? I do, but it's been a long time. Hey! Me I thought artists are you, you know like kids like parents and their kids you know okay but their kids like yeah. the ones who are not love me and I'm my my parents favorite so they never confuse <laughs> my name but like there are those ones they call like now my sister will be called Sheila yeah 
Shout out Ivy. <laughs> so you don't remember some of your tunes. And then after, 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 which is a heavy song, you should yeah. check it out. After I'm Heavy. Um, t- after I'm Heavy, we, we did Bantu Flow. Mm-hmm. It was like a dance. Bantu Flow is also very fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after Bantu Flow. Who did you collaborate with on Bantu Flow? No. But it was so. It was solo. Yeah, it was solo. Your collaboration with the with this guy, the one that's on, it's on heavy rotation right now. Yeah. You have a you have a song out to the guy. Um, what's this guy's name? I really like this guy, and I'm really proud that 2021 as Kiango Mazake kwa radio. Um, I'm a guy. You've done a Oxide. Collab- not Oxide. Ah man, I forgot it. Okay, right. No. Mm. We can sit here for 30 minutes. We need to remember this. <laughs> Caterpillar, which song? No, not Caterpillar. Mm. As in, it's such a fire tune. Just the two of you. And I think it's his song. I think he has dread. I think he's to do TV stuff. What's his name? Ah, as, as a host. Ah, I've forgotten his name. Huh? Does any Monsky doesn't remember the collabs she has done. Let's yeah, I'm mention trying to figure all out. the collabs you've done with men. Uh Tunji, Oxide. Um, Mukirai, mm-hmm. Traboli, mm-hmm. who else? Caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Those are all the guys you've done collabs with. Yeah. No, there's a song I've. I don't want to mention <laughs> the station where Ruby works. <laughs> Have you done a collab with nah. Barack? No, it's not Barack. You guys move on. Anyway, <laughs> I've had the song, and I, and I, and I really feel fire. Like the the content is fire. Yeah. The artist is fire. We've just discovered the management, not so much. But an, a fire album is coming out. It's out. It's out. Yeah. The album is out. Yeah, it's out. On all platforms. On Mook. It's uh-huh. out on Mook. I'm selling it on Mook and hard copies. But my management changed the password, so don't buy my album. <laughs> Yo, man. Monsky. Yeah. I, I gotta say, man, this episode, I thought we were going to be speaking about the music, but there's something more important. And, you know, it's true sessions. We always have to talk about how the music business is because yeah. people have a lot of illusions about what happens behind the scenes. Yeah. Get into the scene seven years down the, the road and realize, OK, maybe I was going a different journey. But it doesn't mean that you can't make an about turn, which you're yeah. already doing. Yeah. And I think that you need to take up a, a, a real long you know, hard look at what what is going on, because at the the last the last thing we want we want would want to hear is that the project has been, you know, pulled down, pulled down, and we haven't even heard it. Yeah, yeah. Moski, uh, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good with everything because it's my decision to stop working with them yeah. and stuff like that. So I feel I feel good about it. Do I you feel have like people peace. who are holding you? Yeah, yeah. I have my close friend mm-hmm. and my family are they supporting your decision uh <laughs> they don't want me to quit music which i'm not quitting yeah i'm just taking a break to figure out where i'll start mm-hmm. yeah man girl i wish you all the best you. you know you can always talk to me if you've got any need like if you if you want to be able to figure out stuff yeah um but the first thing i tell you um have a con find an arbitrary uh an arbitrator between the two of you, because even if you didn't sign anything, the fact that you have been working together for seven years is yeah. already evidence. Yep. You get so, yep. yeah. They, I'm sure there's an amicable way that we can solve this. Yeah, we'll because see. we want to see, want to see. You know, in fact, hashtag free Monsky. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Shout out to you. Cheers. Cheers, man. And Thanks, girl. I wish you all the best. So when I say matuzi nuzo kopi zamuk. As of now, I'm not going to album. Because I'm not going to be able to do Personally, I'm not going to be able to do And I feel too bad. Let's go, Kabisa. Mm. So when I get to a point that we can have a conversation, I'll reach out, I'll try to call, but it's like, nah, you already know what the problem is. Mm. But when I get to a point where we can talk it out and see the way forward, yeah, well and good. Which we will get to. I got you. Yeah. Just make it happen, girl. Because we see to mziki kwa zabu. Eh? Kwa zi yungu meagona na tika kusikia one time. I'm still, I'm still shooting videos yeah. on, on the album. Yeah. So as much as niko na break, ni break tu ya ku produce more music. But it will last long, I'm sure. Thank you so much for being honest with us. Karibu. Thank you for sharing your story with us. And I'm sure there's 
I know that there's a lot of artists who can use this specific story as a cautionary yeah. tale on why we should not get into agreements without actually agreeing. Yep. This has been Three Sessions with Monski. Thank you so much, Monski. Thank you so Remember, much. Remember, it's your good vibes. Call me Kwambos. Kapow! Remember, <laughs> this is powered by Valentine. See you on the other episode. Bye. Yeah. Peace.